What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Clickbait. Like always, we got Bachelor Nation news. We're going to break that down for you. Clickbait of the week. And then our very special guest, he's from a reality show from back in the day. I'm sure you guys remember it called The Hills. Um, we are having Spencer Pratt on the podcast. He has so much going on. He does a bunch of TikToks and Instagram and the whole thing. <laughs> he's got his own company where he sells crystals, I'm sure. Natasha, you have something to say about crystals, no? Oh, yeah. I love that for him. Did Spencer have <laughs> a thing like hummingbirds, too? I don't know. I feel like I've, I've tried to But there's, like, necklaces. I'm like, I need I, – but the, the name is funny, Pratt Daddy. Um, yeah, crystals. <laughs> it's all about the energy, guys. It's all about the energy. Well, when I hear Pratt Daddy, I think of Tia, and I Shit. think of uh, Taddy Daddy. Taddy Daddy. Taddy right? Daddy. See, I I think of um, <laughs> what was that song? You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. You, like what? What were those people called? Cat Daddy. You're a jerk. Cat Daddy. That oh, dance. I was like, girl, I don't know. What does that have to do with Daddy? Yeah, <laughs> it's the yeah, Cat I mean... Daddy. That's what I think about. Sorry, sorry, guys. Anyways, um, there's boxes back there. I see boxes, Joe. Uh -oh. I'm moving. Do you yes. do you do you have something to tell our clickbait listeners? I am moving. Yes, I'm moving to New York. Um, my business is still in Chicago, so I'll be back and forth. But I am definitely going to be going back and forth from New York to Chicago. So yeah, Natasha, we're neighbors now. Yeah. When do you move? Uh, in like seven days. Oh. He moving oh. to the I west know. side, honey. Mm -hmm. I've soon. moved so I've moved so much. In like four years or three years, I think I've moved four times. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. But are you going to keep your place, your current place? Um, I have another one that um, in Chicago. Oh, okay. That, um, a condo that I have. So I'll be back and forth. My yeah. forehead is so shiny. My freaking Botox kicked in, honey. Wait, uh, we're, Tia, we're flat here. I, have to, I have to share something with you. Oh, gosh, what's up? <laughs> Me and Joe have something to share with you. Oh, Our new yes. obsession. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. How how often do you get Botox? <laughs> um, as soon as it wears well, off. You just said your Botox is kicking in. Yeah, like how? Oh, like no, I can like see it. how. Flat what do you do? Like every every like three months? Yeah, I try to stay around there. Yeah, because okay. it's gone in a few months. My yeah. girl was on maternity leave for a little while, so I had to wait. Wait long, every three months. Now. Yeah, my um, my dermatologist said the more you do it, the more your body gets used to it. So you should try to prolong it as long as possible. I try, but yes. it's like the wrinkles get <laughs> so bad, you have to do more to catch up. Yeah, well, she told me that, and I said, uh, uh, I did it. I did it twice, and I did it like two, six months. You know, she yeah, was like, you should really apart. try to do nine months. So, like, I mean, oh. I really. I should go, but like I want a little expression, you know. Yeah, I have a little. <laughs> just enough. Just enough. Yeah. Yeah, just enough. Let's do the breakdown of the week. We are not in a season right now, so we're gonna talk about other stuff. But Michelle Young was announced as Becca's new co host on Bachelor Happy Hour, our little sister podcast. How exciting. <laughs> So I thought, yes, I yeah. thought they is might it our be little Serena. sister or our big sister podcast? I well, think they're our, our older sister. sister. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're our big sister. Little is the term of endearment. We knew. Um, we, look, we knew, but we couldn't oh, spill yeah. the tea. We knew. We had yeah. a photo shoot where we all did nice, fancy, cute photos for all of our podcasts, and we knew we weren't allowed to tell. They did, but, but they yeah. did more fancy photos they did. did let's be honest yeah. right they have yeah, like, they're the big they're the big sister yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. they have like i think it's gonna of... be great I, I think i think michelle's gonna be um i think she's gonna do great I think she's, she's got a refreshing two take on girls just yeah oh yeah two two midwest midwest, midwest minnesota midwest girls wow yeah i'm actually really <laughs> glad that um that they're gonna have her perspective i hope she likes podcasting as well you know because i i think they were talking and they were like you know you've always been in the hot seat now you can put other people in the hot mm -hmm. seat and like as her teacher background i think she's gonna love it she's still teaching part-time too she was telling me at the shoot she's still teaching too mm -hmm. and doing this and doing mm -hmm. everything else yeah yeah would she you prefer would you prefer to be in the hot seat or the one interviewing honestly I like both, but I will also 
say anything. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'd also yeah. ask anything. So well, yeah, that could work either way. Yeah. So I don't know, but I think I'm more entertaining, probably in the hot seat. <laughs> I'd rather sense. be in the hot seat. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, well, of course, you're, I think I think you. It's not your job as the interviewee. It's not your job to be entertaining. It's your job to ask questions. Being in the hot right. seat. You know, right, exactly. But even I, think, I don't know. Sometimes let me tell y'all. Back in the day, my my girl Oprah. I used to be like, I'm sorry, I didn't watch Oprah for the people she was having on. I was watching Oprah for Oprah. Oh, Do you for know sure. What I mean? Yeah, you like the host. Yeah, Oprah. yeah. She entertained <laughs> yeah. me. I love her. I miss yeah. that show. Mm. <laughs> well, um, can't wait to listen to Michelle and Becca go at it and hear them talk about the new upcoming season of The Bachelorette. Sure, it's gonna be pretty entertaining. Gosh, I feel like they should have a Minnesota a segment now, too. Like if you're visiting, like to get people to like visit Minnesota, <laughs> best food yeah. places, best. And Becca's cause... thick accent. <laughs> Mall of America. <laughs> oh, that's what you think of when you think of Minnesota. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's definitely a thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's true. I've never been. All right, yeah. moving on. We're happy for them. Excited to hear that podcast, but. Next one for today, Katie Thurston and John Hersey. I've been pronouncing his name as Hershey for a, a long time. Speaking Her- of, I'm glad to know it's Hershey Yeah, well, now. well, you're wrong. Yeah, there's no H. Anyhow, Katie, <laughs> Katie and John an celebrate H. the one-year anniversary of meeting each other and her giving him his one and only rose. You know yeah. what? In a new relationship, you just got to celebrate everything. You got to celebrate all the wins. And this is a win. Hmm. <laughs> he only got one rose, and he got it from her, so... Yeah, they, they've known each other now uh, for a full year. <laughs> that, that, that is a that is that's a, a long lame. time yes. in Bachelor Land. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they seem to be going strong. They I, seem I mean, happy. Yeah, you know, and not every um, not every bachelor every lead has like you know ends up with the person they choose. So she ended up with somebody on her season that she didn't realize um, was her guy. Yeah. And now they're they seem really happy. Even after the 12 days of messy, I didn't oh, really know honey. if they were going to make it out, but they did. They made it out. Yeah. I mean, he was the 12th day, right? He was like the whole reveal. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I met them. They were you at did. the People's Choice Awards. And, yeah. and how was that? I've never met them. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were how great. Was that, they were fam? fine. You sure said yeah. fam? They were fine. <laughs> it does. No, they were, they were, they were, I would say, Love is in the they air. Were nice. Love, yeah. love is in the you air. You could tell they were into each other. Like I didn't. They couldn't keep their know. hands off of each other. Oh my God! Tell us, was it scandalous? Yeah, they were making out. They were the making whole out time. the whole time. Ah. Yeah, she was sitting on his lap. Oh <laughs> yes, Katie and John. Oh, we God. love PDA. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, that's great. Well, do y'all really like? Do y'all like PDA, or does it drive you nuts? I'm gonna be honest um, with y'all. It depends on if you're my boyfriend or not. Yeah. Well, do you perform PDA? Do you perform in, um, PDA? Like, do Let you... me kiss your face, right now. This is my performance. Yes. Yeah. I... Uh, I'm, well, I'm moving to New York. You know, I'm getting ready to perform. Uh, oh, perform there's people PDA coming by. Serena, oh, in, come in, in give me your face. <laughs> I don't mind to perform PDA, but if other people are doing it, I'm like, oh, come on, man. Y'all, just wait till I go on another date. I'm going to be like, I see people. Come here. How about holding, how about holding hands? Is holding hands PDA? I think holding hands is so and, sweet and intimate. Yeah, it's, a, it's I think like so. a mild version. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's like a mild version. Yeah, I would okay. rather, so it's like though. First, it's like the first base yes. of PDA. Look, if yeah. any of my men listen to this, I would rather you put your arm around my dog. Like, do that. Like, oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? I like that better yeah, than see, a handhold cuz that makes me feel like oh, sometimes an arm is me. heavy though around your neck. I love that. See, I'm a fa- I'm a fan of putting my arm around. Yeah, that's yeah. that's nice. You would crush Serena. Yeah. <laughs> if well, you're I mean, walking, I don't put all, I don't put I don't I don't put all my weight on her. I just, you know, I put the arm. I'm not like oh, carry you, me. You want to know something crazy? <laughs> this is might sound really crazy, but I do think like your arm uh weighs a lot like of your like the body mat like you know in yoga on we found that like yeah 
like how much yeah, you know, mine's heavy. like your legs are like I think your legs are like 60 percent of your body weight or something and then like your arms are like 30 I don't know it's a crazy number Sounds your right. arms are pretty heavy um, yeah this right. thing's probably this thing's probably 20 pounds <laughs> 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 all right, I've officially snorted. We gotta move the fuck on. All, all right. right, move on, move on. Third break. Oh, yeah, this what happened when there's no there's no bachelor on. Y'all oh, no, get us crazy. Y'all get us I'm crazy. I'm in a good mood this week too. This is shit as well. Oh, all right. honey, the, look, the P, the PMS is over. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, our girl. You better get Taylor some PDA. <laughs> you better perform Tonight. some PDA on Taylor. Tonight. Tonight, he'll listen to this and be like, "Oh, what the heck happened?" <laughs> okay, our paradise couple, Abby and Noah, sweet angels. So Abby mm. revealed that she moved to California for Noah, plus her favorite part of not being long distant. Um, I thought Noah was just in California temporarily. Yeah, I think he is because he, he's a traveling nurse. Right. I think he was. And you know what's so crazy? I really have to call them. I haven't, like, talked to them. I'll normally, like, FaceTime them every blue moon and, like, you know, talk shit, whatever, see what's going on. And I have to do that. But they've just been living their best life. But I think that they were there for temporarily. But now I think he might have gotten a gig there. Oh, and, okay. Oh, really? Okay. I, well, listen, I don't know. I might be spreading clickbait. That's not even true. I don't know. But she said she moved there. That's what we do on this. <laughs> yeah. No, she she said she moved there. So if she gave up her apartment, I mean, I think it's for a little bit of a long term thing, right? Well, she definitely gave up her apartment in New York, mm -hmm. and she, like she said, she's from the West Coast. I think she's mm -hmm. from uh, Portland. Yeah, right? her family yeah. there. Um. Yeah, I just so have to say they, they are the home. cutest. They are. What did they she seem say? Very happy. What did she say? Her favorite part of not being long long distance is. Oh, she can she can now be in a routine. Because oh, of traveling, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so hard to yeah. stay in your routine. Y'all, that is so true. Honey, Nyla it's over here going so through true. it. She like, that, that is honestly really true. I can't wait to, um, have a to move in with Serena so we could just have a stint. Have one place. Yeah. Because going yeah. back and forth to, to two has been pretty rough. You may not know yeah. what to do with yourself when you just sit still yeah. for so long. But you guys are coming in the best time. Spring and summer Spring. in New York. Spring. It's the best. Do y'all have allergies? Like seasonal allergies? In New York? Um, I do, but I don't actually have them in New York. What do you mean, like weird. New York itself? Well, I don't know. I didn't know if that was just a southern thing. Do people in New York have allergies? You sneeze your heads off. No, um, in Chicago, all all allergies are allergies are uh, are not regional? nationwide. No, mm -hmm. are you sure? I, well, I no. Okay, I mean, so guys, so like there's, there's like pollen, ragweed. Yeah. Yeah. There's all these maybe, different ones, maybe. and there's and sometimes they're heightened in different places than other places. So, like me, I'm allergic to ragweed, and when the ragweed is high in Chicago, I go to Chicago, I am a sneezy mess. I come back to New York, no, so and they're so gone. Much. Yeah, but, like yeah. I what's can travel. What's through. ragweed? Ragweed is See? it's just like pollen. It's like that it's shit yeah, it's like, too. Yeah, it's in the air, and it. Mm. I like the fam. He wore that for us, Tia. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Clickbait fam. I okay. love it. Um, no, Abby Damn. and Noah, I love them. I'm actually, I, com I completely forgot that they were in California. Um, I know, I did too. I, I miss them. I want to see them. They are two of my favorite uh, couples from the from from the paradise. From the beach. From I'm the sad paradise. that we didn't get to have a reunion <clears throat> with everyone. I think we should just have our own reunion and call it the clickbait reunion. We should. How about that? I'm in the mood to travel again. <laughs> I yeah. did see, I did see there was um, <clears throat> some clickbait that said paradise was canceled. Oh. Did you guys see that? There's no yeah, way. Well, how did that get started? How did that get started? Who knows? Well, yeah. um, Badger in Paradise is mm. not canceled because I will be there. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, all right. Official announcement. There you go. I heard it here first. Oh, honey, the clickbait. The tea is hot today. <laughs> no, I will not be there. Um, but... <laughs> No. Um, what other what other clickbaits going around? Oh, you know what Bachelor, else? No. You know what else? Um, I saw Caitlyn talked about how she found out that she wasn't going to be Bachelorette. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. At the thing that was yeah, kind of crazy. Something. Yeah, um, yeah. That's maybe how they she did stuff though. Maybe the maybe the email went to the junk mail. You know, like mm. I think they sent it via email. <laughs> she didn't check her spam. <laughs> she didn't check the spam. Mm -mm, no. Damn. <laughs> and then oh, you know what else came out today? Um, the guys are released. Or not officially released, but like they're spoiled somehow. Guys that may be yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. guys, that's the real tea. I feel like we need to call Jesse and be like, Jesse, how in the hell is this going to really work? Do not put these women against each other. Mm -mm. 
I'm not, well, hell, he probably would say, like, I don't know. I don't have anything to do with it. <laughs> I would be surprised. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah I, let's see it it'll be very interesting to see. I do think that um, it would be interesting if they do bring a woman to come and talk to them. You know, a Tasha, a Caitlin. A yeah, or just someone like, you know, when they maybe get down to their like final or whatever, there is something that's very beautiful about um, the the camaraderie that women have. And I think mm-hmm. it's very. Well, now they can talk to each other. About well, the same yeah, men? No, but, I don't want to talk yeah. to you about him. Like what you think about. Oh, I don't really like Jason. Oh, yeah. You really you don't like him. Oh, well, well, I guess I don't like him either. Oh, you know, right. Jason did the nicest thing for me yesterday. Oh, he did. He didn't do that for me. Like. <laughs> yeah. It needs to be someone that's been I, in that position before, too. If they're going to have something like that, it'd be nice. Yeah, I hope they're like besties and like girl power. And maybe they have different I, types. God, please don't. I would just think, I would just think like come halfway into the season, there's going to be like a set number of guys that are only going for Rachel and then mm-hmm. a set number of guys that are only going for Gabby. And then that's the Like they let work. the guys pick? Well, just kind of like, yeah, like. No. Yeah, probably. No, they're, like, who they're the into? no, they're the bachelorettes. They're gonna pick. They're gonna pick. Absolutely. Oh, I'm interested to see how it goes because I just don't. Want the women to are gonna they're gonna they're gonna be like oh the other. guy's gonna be like I like you and she's gonna be like well I don't like you <laughs> you go home. Okay, so then what's gonna happen <laughs> when when let's say um, uh, Spencer likes Gabby mm-hmm. and she's like I don't like you. And then, and then, and then well, Rachel gets that, to decide if she likes him or not. Is that what's happening? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Oh, did you guys watch Show? Did you, you guys watch Show Millionaire? I didn't watch that. Mm-mm. No. Yeah, I didn't no. watch it. Um, but apparently, apparently yeah. it worked on there. I mean, I guess they kept it separated. I remember Joe Millionaire from like back in the day when Me that too. first. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, it was just one guy, right? It wasn't yeah, and it was like this. Y'all aging y'all selves. I don't know what the hell y'all. <laughs> it was one guy, and he was like, he was like, yeah, it was like this big thing. Like he's a millionaire, and everyone's like, oh my god, oh, yeah. a handsome guy who's a millionaire. Yeah. Now they're and everywhere. Then, like, they, they're everywhere. These uh, millionaires. Let me tell you. And then like at the end, <laughs> no shit. At the end, he showed like his salary, and he makes like twenty five thousand a year. That's how. Nice. He's like, I'm not a millionaire, but I think I think they got like a big check at the end or something. Oh, if they my actually gosh. stay together. Yeah. All right. Clickbait of the week, guys. Let's do it. I'm so, so curious, specifically with you, Tia, um, in your current relationship. The clickbait of the week, we are talking about how many dates should you go on when you first start seeing someone? And the article was interesting, but I think that this is something that I don't even think about when I first no. meet someone like, oh, I want to see you twice a week. I want to see you mm-hmm. three times a week. I want to see you every day. You know, I don't even think about that. And so the the article basically, you know, for our listeners, they break down that you have to take into consider you should be thinking about this and being intentional about this when you first meet someone and you like someone. And if that person isn't being reciprocating isn't reciprocating when you want to see them then that could just mean that they're busy they have a lot going on they're working blah 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 blah, blah. so my question to you Tia when you and your boo first started dating were you intentional about this or did it just happen no I've never had a conversation with anyone I've dated about this is how much we should hang out this is how much we should see each other um i was in long distance relationships for so long that Mm -hmm. it was like okay we're gonna see each other you know for sure twice a month or you know we're gonna drive to each other every other weekend so that was kind of set but like with taylor (laughs) we lived i mean two minutes away from each other and we never really established those boundaries so it's like we ended up hanging out too much at first in the beginning like seeing each other too much at first in the beginning do you was, think that or did he think that as well? Or you like Um, it was just kind of understood that oh, okay. we accidentally we ended up hanging out almost every day. He's yeah. gonna listen he's gonna listen to this and be like, What the I fuck? I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's understood understood my ass. He's like, it's I know he's like, understood. this is why we have communication issues. Um <laughs> But I pushed him away for so long that when we when I finally just started letting him in and we started yeah. hanging out. It's like we were inseparable after that. And then I would have moments of being overwhelmed and overloaded and needed to be alone and didn't know how to communicate that. Because that now he was used to us being 
together all the time. So mm. it would it would have been nice to set up those boundaries like, hey, we're going to see each other three times a week. You're going to go hang out with your friends X amount of times. I'm going to hang out with my friends X amount of times. Then we're going to be alone this right. amount of time. But, I mean, we live together now, so. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, I will say the one time that this happened, there was a guy that he, it was a distance thing. He wasn't living here, but we went on a really great date and he works a lot and he travels a lot. And he was like, realistically, how much would you want to see each other a month? Mm-hmm. And I was so taken back from it by him asking. I was like, oh, I was like, uh, I don't know, like at least, I don't know, twice right. a month. I don't know. Like, cause I recognize that we don't live in the same place. And he was like, okay, I just wanted to manage your expectation because if you were someone who said, I want to see you once a week or Mm -hmm. three times a week or whatever, like it just wouldn't work out. Yeah. And so I thought that was very interesting that he said that. um, I wonder if that was was an issue he had like in a previous relationship. So he knew to bring it, you know, directly to you. Yeah, probably. Probably. Um, Yeah. Probably. But I just thought it was very interesting that he asked. And I thought it was very thoughtful, Mm -hmm. too. Um, But now I'm like, oh, like, oh, do I need to be doing this? Like, talking about this? (laughs) Well, yeah, I don't feel like there's a perfect, like, amount of days that you should have, you know, in a week when you start seeing someone. But, yeah, I think it's important to communicate what your expectations are. Yeah. And Joe, give us your male perspective before Serena. Like, do you think that this is important? Do you, or your advice, I should say, do you think it's important? And did you have these issues, you know, before you were engaged? Um, yeah, so long ago. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't have a life I, before honestly, he was engaged. <laughs> what was life before Serena? I, um, <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't know. I feel like I never really, I wouldn't, I would feel uncomfortable saying like, I want to see you X amount of days. Um, I would just kind of let it happen naturally, go on with your, your life. And I feel like if you both really want to see each other, you'll make, you make time, time to do it. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is different. Like in your case, um, the guy doesn't live in the same city. So you kind of, you have to actually make, make a schedule. Yeah. Um, right. right. But I would just let it happen naturally, and that's probably why um, I was single, <laughs> and I had to go on a reality <laughs> show. So, um, oh gosh! And well, it said I, too in the article, like if you're in that infatuation stage, you want to see that person more often. But I've found in my experience, I get kind of burnt out on people yeah. faster that way, and then yeah. you're like, oh well, at least we know I wasn't actually into it; I was just infatuated. Yeah, I try really hard not to give in to those impulses because I'll, like, meet someone and it's like, oh, my God, I don't like anyone ever. And then I want to be with this person all day. And mm-hmm. I'm like, no, 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 I, like, make it a point to, like, do other things because I right. don't want to, you know, I want it to organically grow opposed to just being like, so we're in love? Great. Yeah. <laughs> so we're getting married? Great. Great. Tomorrow. <laughs> See you there. Great. Great, 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 great. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's very, it's very interesting. Uh, and I will say... Um, to close the clickbait, if, you know, I always talk about being intentional and reading this article, that was my big takeaway. Like there's so many ways to be intentional with dating and for yourself. And I think establishing boundaries when you first meet someone is probably, it'll, it'll only work in your, it should work in your benefit. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, yeah, like Joe said, I'm like, I've never even thought about this. It's probably why I was single so long, you know, (laughs) like, so I am going to start thinking about this and I might, I might, I might give somebody a call and be like, so we going to see each other three times a week. (laughs) (laughs) If not, I'm out. You should do that. If not, bye. All right. right, I think, um, I think it's that time, everyone, for our guest. We are lucky enough to have um, one of the pioneers of reality TV coming on right now. Everyone, please welcome Mr. Spencer Pratt to the podcast. Spencer, how are you? Nice to finally meet you. I'm Joe, Tia, Natasha. We're from The Bachelor. Wow. <laughs> yes. what, a, what a gang. I'm so yeah. excited to be here. Yes, we're happy yeah, to have you, too. Very, very happy. Very happy to have you. How's everybody? How's um your wife, the family, the kid? Uh, everyone's great. Heidi's uh, in the garage uh, doing her knees over toes guy workout training right now. And 
Gunner is at school and I am just uh, living the dream, going on as many uh, Famous Fuels podcasts like yourselves, <laughs> trying to get some clout here. Yeah. I was wondering how we got you here, but I guess, I guess no, I, really, you wanted us. <laughs> yeah, no, I need the juice. You guys, you got the juice. I mean, you need some. Uh, we'll we give you, it. yeah, we'll, you. we'll give you some juice. All right, so do you, um, do you happen to watch The Bachelor? Uh, I mean, for and years, you have... Heidi, you know, Heidi's, watches it she should come on next time i'm i'm really just a stand-in for her uh yeah i, I watched it always <clears throat> excuse me um but i'll be honest my big shift and i blame my friend i think it was was it corinne that did it once uh -huh. they like limited the alcohol and they were like <laughs> spreading out like it was corinne yeah, yeah. Once was, they, yeah once they shifted like and that was my <laughs> drinking show and I guess mm -hmm. people were like, no, it's back. You don't notice that. But for a minute, I was like, I felt like people were like thirsty, like let them get hit the bar, you know? <laughs> and then I also can't stand that bartender guy. So he kind of destroyed the franchise oh, for me. Oh, also. no. Wells? Oh, yeah. You don't like he's, Wells? He's the worst. Don't, he's don't, the most oh, I love Wells. Oh, don't, don't fall for the, the con. He is a snake. <laughs> Um, so, you know, so those are two big things that have affected. And then obviously we lost our host, you know, I do love Caitlin Bristow. So, mm -hmm. but I felt like they should have just picked one host. These are all my like, yeah, bigger, yeah. Bigger we love this. With yeah. the franchise, yeah. you know, but at the end of the day, you know, it's still beyond compelling. And the fact that you, I mean, the stories continue on. I, I actually enjoy post bachelor franchise drama more than the show and like <laughs> watching you know so the guy we. you thought yeah. was obsessed stalker for cassie ends up now he's got his own netflix show finding his boyfriend or whatever you know <laughs> he's found it too. So i think he, oh, i think they got engaged, engaged. Oh, he's engaged, he's engaged yeah. now Colton. i love about it i love that like for instance caitlin and the trainer uh oh my god my brain i have i'm not shading him no, 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 no. Sean. 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 Oh, Sean. Sean, yeah. Sean yeah. You know, they were together and then boom, they're not. And she's now getting engaged to Jason. And he's got a book <laughs> yes. out. Check out his book. You know, so <laughs> oh. um, these are yes. the things you know I, what's up. I truly love about the franchise is following, you know, the, the threads that continue post. But then also, you know, I, I miss this last finale. Spoiler alert, people, but I guess. It was drama because he told both girls he had sex with them and it's like you know but then i'm i didn't yeah. catch up but now i'm watching you know ig and he's posting her on the potty and you know <laughs> she's choking him i'm like well, now i gotta go backwards because <laughs> she is choking you know, like, the choking, yeah. like, the choking like, photos this, this, i guess i missed the good season here no but, we were just no, no, surprised it's, it's <laughs> yeah uh, we the mm -hmm. franchise is a masterpiece and I'll always, I just been so busy trying to get famous again that like, you know, oh. I've been distracted by like, when I used to watch The Bachelor, I had retired trying to be famous and I was just like, watched reality TV and just ate pot pies and did nothing. <laughs> and now I'm like, at least I'm trying to make No, TikTok, you're pretty well caught so. up. So what was your, what was your first reality show? It was with Brody Jenner, right? Didn't you guys like have? So uh, when I was a freshman in college, I had read, this is pre like internet. I must've read it on a newspaper or something um, <laughs> that the Osbournes had just got $25 million for their reality show. Five oh, million. Yeah, I remember, I remember that, that I was show like, too. And I'm at college, like thinking I'm gonna do like business school or something. I'm like, I'm in the wrong place. So I, <laughs> yeah. I call my parents. I'm like, I'm withdrawing from USC. Like, this is not for me. And they're like, huh? I'm like, it's a leave of absence. I can always come back. So then I called Brody True. and I'm like, bruh, <laughs> they're getting $25 million. And all this show is, all due respect to the Osbournes, is this guy yelling with a British accent. couldn't understand shit. Yeah, and he's just yelling. Yeah. I was like, your stepdad yells way gnarlier <laughs> with a English accent. You can understand yeah. him. And your house is a thousand <laughs> times bigger than their house. I was like, let me make a reality show about you. And he's like, uh huh. Only if you show up tomorrow at 8 a.m. I call it like knowing I don't. Yeah, know, like, I love know. that. <laughs> Maybe it was earlier, like seven. No, when I'm sleeping in a thousand percent. So I go buy a camera and then I show up with a camera right on his face at like 7 a.m. And then that summer we filmed 
all summer and David Foster, check out his Netflix documentary. I didn't know who he was, all due respect. There was an Instagram, there wasn't these things. Brody yeah. just told me yeah. he made elevator music. And so like, I had no <laughs> respect for him as a 20 year old with a camera. And he's, you know, the time he's doing Michael Bublé's album, I've just, yeah. just some rando. I'm like, who's this he's guy? He's so brilliant. And yeah. I'm on it. I'm on David Foster like, what's up, Dave? This is for Fox TV because the simple life had just been airing. And I was like, Brody and Brandon, oh, are like another the boy, Nicole and Paris. Like, I got this. And he's like, F you, Spencer. This isn't F you, blah, blah. And so then uh, this is like iMovie one. I took clips of him <laughs> just swearing at us in order. No edit here. Like I still, that's why I'm, I can't even do TikTok because editing is hard. And, uh, and then we sold it to Fox for six episodes and then spoiler alert, breaking news. Sorry, Dave Foster. I don't know if you want this business out. Linda <laughs> walks in on him getting a, getting, you know, some oral sex in the studio. The morning we start filming the show. Uh, so yeah, she's, yeah. Like, it, she's like, it's done. We're not doing the show. Brody and I begged. But was he, was he married to somebody else? Is yeah. That... He's married to Linda for 24 years. Uh, okay. Linda Thompson. Oh yeah. yeah. Shout out Linda Thompson. Famous. Damn. For, you know, Bruce wow, Jenner, okay. you know, Lydia the day we, the day is... the cameras start rolling. So she's like, it's done. It's over. So this is my first like producing experience at 20 where I have to literally talk to her and like, just please just ignore him for the next three ignore. months. Yeah, like, well, and pretend you're married. And then, so she does it. She gangsters up for us. But then she didn't tell us this part. The night it premieres, she t calls Fox and is like, I'm filing for divorce in the morning. So then I get a call from Fox and they're like, we're canceling your show. Uh, we bought a show about uh, a married family, not divorced. Nowadays, they would have given me a raise. That's how. Right, was. right. Yeah. Like, right. Boom, Spencer, you got it on the divorce, drama, like the game's changed. But this was family friendly world, Simpsons and family guy yeah. Sunday night. So then I'm like, oh, we only get two on air episodes. And it's a wrap. So I got to go back to college. I was back in college. Like this is the worst <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> and I come home from class because, you know, my parents, we live in the Palisades and my mom's with her best friend and my mom's best friend's like, you should date this girl, Spencer. And she points to their watching the show on, I think it was TiVo, like back in TiVo days, watching it back. And it was The Hills season one. Yeah, season okay. one. She's pointing out Heidi and I'm like, what's this oh. show? You know, and I, I didn't know what the show was. It was not popping at all, all due respect <laughs> to The Hills franchise. It was irrelevant. <laughs> and um, it was getting canceled. So whenever people were like, you ruined the Hills, Spencer. I'm like, no, no, the Hills is getting canceled. It was not coming back. Like, I can't, So how did you, yeah, how did you, as, how did you get yourself cape. on it? I came in with a cape as a hero. Um, so then I see on the time, like, who's making this show? Like, what is this? And I see one of the guys that Rody and I had a meeting and hired to do Princess of Malibu as our showrunner, this guy, Sean Travis. So I have his cell phone number. I call him, I'm like, what fool you have uh, a new show and you didn't put Brody and I on it he's like Spencer Spencer no no this is a spin-off from uh the uh, the Laguna Beach girl like it's already they there's you can't be on this show it was already a set cast I'm like nah 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 so then I told Brody to call this guy excuse me I was just, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry I threw up on Friday night after Nobu and I have not bounced back Oh my god! I quit Wait, drinking. food poisoning? Oh no, alcohol poisoning. Oh, alcohol poisoning. Oh. Alcohol poisoning. Oh. Yeah. Relatable. I actually wish I'd eaten some of the food, but um, <laughs> that's a different story. We can bounce back yeah. that. So my throat's still like. <clears throat> um, so then I call Brody and I'm like, "Yo, hit up Jared. This guy, Jared. Small world. If you watch the uh, Housewives of Atlanta, this is Big Papa Son." Oh. Mm -hmm. Like if you oh. were a big papa, Kim's yeah. sugar daddy, yes. yeah. he was a real deal sugar daddy. So big papa's son. <laughs> yeah, he was but, married, right? I don't know how my back. Because they so had to hide I, his identity because he yeah, was still married. Whatever, was big papa thing. had a son and I, we knew this guy and we're like, Jared, you need to buy up all the tables at area where they film so that like they have to use our tables to like pop bottles. So. He comes in, stunts as hard as you can stunt, buys up all the tables and area. So then, like, I make a point to Sean, like, we can take away your 
<laughs> you're set real quick. Like, where you, <laughs> you guys going to stand in the middle and shoot this show? So you, so you basically muscled your oh, way. Yeah, you oh, weaseled your, your ass show. in. Oh, yeah, oh, and that, what? That. And I, and I need to know what you thought of Heidi when you first met her. So rewind. I didn't realize that Heidi. All right. So the timeline's so crazy with the hills. <laughs> so we did that, and then it was like. You know, then Brody was with Nicole Richie and we were getting clout off of that and like getting pop, paparazzis were all around her. So we, we kind of didn't like commit to this and we just like got in it for a second and showed them that we could like do this. But then uh, this was like their season one ending. So we didn't go all in. It was just like, right. They, I don't, I don't know. So then it was summertime and then privilege, which is now Hyde was the popping club. Uh, I remember Justin uh Timberlake's uh sexy sexy back what uh-huh. right that was yeah, sexy sexy back. that it just hit the club like it was just like that was the song <laughs> and Brody and I go, he's now dating Chris and Cavallari so is this before mm. before Nicole Richie yeah so maybe right before Nicole Richie gosh that's and so yeah, it's a, my brain is gone so we're gonna <laughs> we're, we're doing like this is inception mixed with uh momentum yeah brody's gonna hear uh, this interview uh, and be like bro what were you talking about no no he doesn't remember i called him the other day trying either. to get some info for t- my tiktoks and he's like bro i don't know i don't even what are you talking about I don't know. <laughs> um so uh so he's dating kristen cavallari we go out and she was popping this is when she didn't do the hills because she was going to be she a movie was too star big. yeah she yeah. was too big she was gonna she was in that movie <laughs> yeah. that like summer summer break summer breakdown um no not the one with selena gomez this is like the original <laughs> one with like amy poehler i don't know so we go out to privilege and uh heidi tells kristen you got to set me up with somebody this is in the club drinking and she's like oh spencer's here i'll set you up so then we started drinking heidi oh. was an incredible dancer this is back when my knees were strong and i was, <laughs> i was a professional dancer you know, a club dancer. I was, you know, not a not yeah. a ballroom dancer. So they're playing sexy back, yeah, and, and you guys are, I, I are think grinding. I the center. I moved everybody out of the way, and did oh. a, you know, like I was doing a show. And so <laughs> she comes all the way back with us to uh, Casablanca, uh, to Brody's house, and I don't know if this is. I don't know if Prince's had been canceled. I think maybe we had just shot the show, so we had that like big time energy, and she just shot her first season, so. She had her big time ego energy and we hit it off and we were like a thing for a minute that summer. But then she told Kristen Cavallari that I was in love with her, which I guess, oh. you know, in retrospect, like I must have been. But I was <laughs> only 20, 21 with a giant, you know, ego and she had a really big ego and I didn't like the way that came back. And so I was like, oh, really? I'm obs- like, I think she said I was obsessed with her. I was like, whoa, you need to chill with that type of, that language. This, like, how about I just end that real quick? Now, now that's like foreplay, right? Yeah, like, so right. now, yeah, no, but, and then, so whatever I said to her, this is back when you had to go into a cell phone store to change your number. It wasn't like call and do a e sim swap. So she changed her phone number on me. So oh. that was like, she, she deaded me. So then once wow. season two did come oh, wow. around and now he's with Nicole Richie, we bring it back, our hustle. So then uh, I don't know if I our hustle. Up. So <laughs> this is to be on the hills. Yeah, yeah. The takeover of the hills was the plan. Not mm. it was all along it was called Operation Upstage. That was the mission. <laughs> and so we were at Chateau Marmont on a date uh, with uh, Nicole and Brody. You know, I was third wheeling it, just living the life. And so Audrina shows up, uh, I think, be- oh, because Nicole Richie's best friend was this girl, Sophia Rossi, who then later created the Hello Giggles with this other lady. I'm so sorry, I forgot her name. And I actually liked her more, my bad. Um, so so th- uh, she was the talent producer. So she was like, oh, Audrina's nearby. I'll bring Audrina. And Heidi and Audrina and LC, they're all beefing because what people don't know is when LC broke up with Jason, Adrena kept kicking it. You know, this wasn't part of the show because it was off camera with Jason. And so oh. they were like, Adrena was dead to them. So Adrena was like, uh, and I was now mad at Heidi because she changed her number on me. She wouldn't give it. So I said, Adrena, like, oh, you're filming that? We're going to pull up with you. Heidi's working the door. And, you know, 
but there was no like I didn't have a date with Audrina. I never wanted to have a date Wait, with Audrina. I, like I, I never this. would have a date I remember with Audrina. This too. You know, so this is like just to like uh, get Heidi and you know steal the show. You're working energy. your angles. Yeah, and it was like again, like the the fact one of the worst things that connects me to the hills is that like it looks like a I would go on a date with Audrina and B that like Audrina <laughs> like was like oh we like da, 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 Spencer we're not gonna talk or whatever clown comment she had that I just <laughs> watched. So we show up, it works, action pack. Heidi's like, oh no, Adrena's not doing that. And then, you know, so then I tell the producers like, yo, I'm gonna go on a, a set up a date with Heidi and I'm gonna set one up with Adrena and we'll, you know, cause I just produced a Fox show for a whole summer. I, I didn't know these people did, like they thought they were real people. You know, like <laughs> we come from just making a fake show. like. <laughs> Like our show yeah. was just like a comedy <laughs> states, everything was scripted. So I just thought that's how you did it. Yeah. And so it, it worked and it backfired also because, <laughs> you know, like I come off so grimy when I watch these scenes. I'm like, Jesus. But, yeah. But so you, but so you basically you hopped on. Funny. So you're basically starring in it and producing. Which backfired at the same time because the creator, the devil himself, his name is Adam uh, Devil O. That's actually his name. Like, you think that's a like a coincidence? His last name is Devil O. Like, you playing? I should have known what was up. So he hated me because like Brody and I weren't his pawns, and we were like, no, this isn't how you do. It. Like, we were making his show better. Shout out Tony DeSanto, president of MT at the time. Will tell you we saved it. We he was canceling the show. So then West Coast MTV offers Brody and I our own show. So we film our own show, Banking on Brody, where I'm his manager, publicist, agent, trying to make him famous, where we're like, it's like- Like punk. entourage. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the, like the bootleg entourage. Um, <laughs> like we're like, the plan was like, Cameron Diaz is coming out of the Ivy and we're gonna like talk to the paparazzi and have Brody come right next to Cameron Diaz. Like, like, like he has the flowers and laughs, like and make it look like they just were on a date. We we're gonna hit all the A-list. Are you an agent? Women. You should be an agent. Oh no, this was the I, I missed my boat. Um, you're like you're like PR. You're like PR no, so, extraordinaire. And so we got the deal, yeah, and then yeah. the East Coast MTV's like, uh, Haha, you're not taking the stars of the hills from us. And then they wrote bigger checks to stay on the hills. We should have just said no. Like we're doing our own show, like and taking smaller checks, but money talks. And... Yeah. Yeah. So 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 when you first went on when you first went on the hills. Did they pay you right away or was it? No, like no, that's how we had got... so much leverage because we were just okay. doing it like mercenaries. So, so with, like most with people your... sign sign something that like, I don't even think we signed the like, uh, like use our image thing. I think we're like, yeah, right. Get it around <laughs> us. With, with your background, with everything that you just told us, with the reality show that you made and then seeing how the hills happens and fast forward to now, do you believe and like what's your thoughts on reality tv now like do you are you like ah oh, that's bullshit are you calling things that's like oh that's probably scripted or vice versa well the thing that's so weird about reality is even when you fake things and everyone's in on it real emotions happen like like yeah. heidi and i heidi yeah. knew that night i was bringing those playmates i told her that was a plan but then drunk heidi's like all upset like he brought like yeah. you know so like Human <laughs> beings will be human beings. And then if you really care about people, you have real like reactions. So for instance, I wasn't planning on falling in love and getting married and having a kid with Heidi, like right. out of my like reality hustle, you know, so <laughs> out of, you know, so, you know, emotions exist and things go things sideways or with the way they're supposed to. So yeah, I, I don't believe in a lot of reality TV, but real like I have real beef with so many people that allowed, knew that I was doing things for the show and let me go down for it and act like they weren't being like, oh, Spencer's doing it for the show. Like played along with them knowing I'm just trying to get us all ratings bonuses. So then you're really in your feelings. Like, you know, this was all staged. You went along with it. And then outside of the game, you're even playing, they're not paying you to like, if you're asked about it in Us Weekly, you could have been like, oh, you know, Spencer, it's for the show. You know, he's, you know, he's trying to make, six, you know, everyone wants to like keep that live. Like, oh no, I, I want everyone to hate Spencer. So then the fake stuff turns real. So, um, and in a lot of these shows, 
you know, people go in with agendas and then they really catch feelings like, wait, that guy's not interested. Like even with Bachelor or whatever, like there could be yeah. little opportunists go on the show, oh. but then their actual, <laughs> you know, insecurities of, you know, and or whatever, they really feel competitive and now they actually like this person and then you start drinking and then it's like, so mm -hmm. as fake as some of these shows are and produce, like everyone's still a human and has real emotions. So that's why I still love reality TV. And now I love reality TV the most because when I was in it in the early days, of the trenches, there was, there wasn't such like uh, a game where you could just go in with an agenda. Now I, I appreciate the people that, you know, are doing this for TV and they do it well enough where they steal the A storyline. They get the more followers, they get the T deals, they get the, ads you know good for you so i i i like even the fake people because i know okay it's a that's that's a, you really went all in on that one <laughs> <laughs> yeah people people ask us that all the time on the bachelor like is it fake is it scripted is it this is it that and like you said there are certain people that come in with an agenda and then there's people who don't like you know joe right now is engaged to a girl that he met on paradise right so like yeah. <laughs> but i wasn't planning on it yeah it just you know it happens yeah, yeah. let's talk about yeah. uh and let's talk about thing. your these are like attractive people on tropical islands drinking like it can be as fake as you want but like relationships are going to happen like this is like oh, 100%. This is not that's why it's a magical show that's why i yeah. love paradise more because i feel like it has a real setting of like where i would like i was my most likely to and uh, high school on the in the yearbook was most likely to be a tempter on Temptation Island. Like I'm supposed to be in an island setting, drinking, falling in love. You know, like I think that. you're gonna hustle your way and get and get uh, Wells' job. No, <laughs> I, I everyone will be too drunk. They'll be thrown up. You know, like, I, that's, that's why he's not even a good bartender. Everyone's sober. Let's talk about let, well, that's let's talk we about were, your uh, that's how we were Let's talk about so your hard. TikToks. Uh, let's talk about your TikToks for a minute first. So you're doing this thing called the spills where you're spoiling what happened on the hills, correct? I was. And then Heidi had me stop because <laughs> right as I was doing it, like out of nowhere, an announcement comes out that cast members are the hills are doing a podcast that are going to expose all the behind the scenes. Like literally my TikTok is becoming a podcast and I'm not getting a check. No. So Heidi's like, you're going to give Adrena and Brody who are now I found out are the are the host the entire storyline. So I wasn't gonna do it, but then I had a meeting wow. with these TikTok marketing people that hit me up and they're like, "Yo, we saw you weren't gonna do it, but you will literally bury that. Like, no one's gonna go to their podcast if you're just murdering it in 15 seconds. So it's yeah. a hard balance, TikToks. you know, because you know wow. so fast. It's hard to hit now hit a million in the algorithm. Before it was a lot easier, but you know, <clears> hitting a million, a million, a million that fast, so many. I was mm -hmm. like, dang, this is better than the reboot of the Hills was doing. So I need to, like, <laughs> that little niche. You know, yeah, like, I, I don't know. So it's a hard balance. And then I was talking to my secret producer from the Hills that I still talk to. And I was like, I can secret. take this to the next level and get the producer secrets that I don't even know how shady they really were. Like, cause I only know what I was a part of, but like, if I tapped into like my plug, and was like, yo, give me the scoop scoop. Like, cause, cause they could never talk as their NDA, but yeah. off the record, they could talk to me. And then I could be like, oh, this is what they really did to me. And I didn't even know. So I don't know. Would you do your, would you do your own podcast or no? Um, I think TikTok. visually the TikToks just, you know, cause I hate the Hills. Like I don't want to talk about the Hills for like in depth. That's what everyone keeps saying. Like, Again, if I got the check, Brody and Adrena probably just got, I would do it, but I'm not about to go <laughs> jump on to like a mic and do it for. But I know. think you could do it for just reality in general, but then, you know, give your tidbits on the hills. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it on TikTok. TikTok's just popping. Like, I feel like TikTok is my podcast. And now they yeah. have 10 minute options. Now they just drop storing, which I, you know, was former Snapchatter of the year. So I should bring. <laughs> you know, storing to TikTok the way I used to snap before they murdered me on the algorithm and were like, oh, buy ads. So um, so TikTok over Instagram for you? Oh my God. Instagram, had, I don't even know what I DM'd or what, but I went from like, like my numbers, I was showing off everything to like just dead flat. And I reach out to Instagram like, 
yeah, we had we looked into it. That is weird that you've never <laughs> gone up one follower since this date, or like so. I like Instagram like, does that. <laughs> so like the whole like shadow banning is not real or whatever. It's like I don't know what I talked about, but I don't even feel like I talk. You know, I think I don't, it's. I, I'm, I'm gonna weird. have a hot take here. I think it's your crystals. You know, oh, they don't weird, want us to be woke. They don't want us to be woke. Conspiracy, right, Daddy. Oh. right before the hills got canceled, Viacom legal reached out to like my lawyers and they're like, what are the stones Spencer's showing on the hills? And they're like, they're like my lawyer's like, they're crystals from the gems from like, which ones is in like, what is going? So that's when I got into the, like the weird matrix conspiracy and I lost the plot for a minute. Cause I was like, oh my God. And then I, you know, I was convinced the black helicopters were falling. You know, we went, <laughs> we went down the whole Shia LaBeouf route, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but let's talk, let's talk about your company for oh proudaddy.com to all your listeners. Yeah. Go buy your drip. Yeah. yeah, I want some drip. I'm all into the crystals. You know, so my my buddy's got a, my buddy's got a big crystal in in his um in his condo, and I like grabbed it and picked it up, and he like freaked out. He's like, you can't ever touch a crystal. It's bad luck. Uh, yeah. Is that I, true? You know, all those people, all due respect, your buddy, all that weirdo stuff. Um. <laughs> Uh, no, I feel like I am with, I'm more powerful energetically than anybody's going to like, except for this one time in Erwan, this full on meth addict rolls up and tries to grab my like pendant off my neck. And he, I was like, well, yeah, back up. Well, like, and he's like, what, you think I have bad energy? I'm like, I don't yes. know what you have. This is like pre COVID. <laughs> like this guy had, he's, this is where COVID came from this team. I'm and so every now and then but i don't like a buddy can touch any of my crystals because if you know your energy if you're my friend right. I, your energy is cool with me so like <laughs> yeah the random this was erwan venice this didn't happen in erwan palisades let me just protect my my hq your spot um, yeah your so, territory. <laughs> you know people are that way and and i respect people i used to be harry potter and you once you just go too far it's hard to live in this world when you tap too spiritually into like yeah. that level like i used to go with crystal wands and if before i would enter a door i would redo the portal and you know and it's like i just gotta get to dinner i can't go to giorgio baldi and spend like three minutes like gritting the entrance to you know and you get that far and then you're saging everything all day long i had neighbors always calling the fire department because they're like the smoke and i'm like no and so it's a, I learned, oh I learned it's a balance with, it's you know, such a balance. And I wish we lived in a world where you could be that spiritual and tap in, but the world is you a scary be a place. You gotta, you be, gotta not, be a monk. You gotta be switched on, not be worrying about crystal portals. You'd be worried about not being shanked <laughs> like for your Apple Watch, you know? So mm -hmm. we're just mm -hmm. living in dark times. So you gotta be positive, but <laughs> you also need to like know that everyone is not out here to be healed. So right, again, no. that's the other thing with crystals. I used to, you know, I lost all my brain cells, but I used to know every <laughs> crystal and what they did for me. And people always ask me like, oh, what crystal do I need? And now I am with crystals. Like I wore this amethyst. I didn't, I didn't, you know, amethyst is for calming. Do I look calm? No. Um, <laughs> so like I put it on because I was drawn to it this morning. So it's more about like how you pick out an outfit, how you're feeling. Oh, and yeah. then people who don't believe in crystal energy, I also tell them like, why do you, if you like designer stuff, like I like designer stuff, why do you want to go into Gucci and get that new flashy drip? It makes you feel a certain type of way. That's how I tap into crystals. Like these are beautiful gemstones, millions of years old, take so much to get them out of the earth and have somebody artist and polish them, da, 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 get them to you. So that's where I'm more about like the beauty of the energy versus like, oh, this is for calming and tranquility. Don't get me wrong, there's cultures and generations, there's people that have done this and these intuitives that will tell you all about these crystals, but most people don't wanna hear that. They wanna be like, oh, that'll look good with that <laughs> Louis Vuitton backpack you got. That's a nice, those will all connect. You know, people love diamonds. They're just crystals. They're, they're the, like the most common crystal there is. They just, the yeah. beers came along and put them all in a big safety deposit box and was like, put a value on and got good marketing. It was like, oh, everyone needs diamonds. But there's like, I'm into tourmalines, which are 
so much more rare than diamonds. And so, yeah, if you want tourmalines or aquamarines from Nigeria, I got the bug. Oh. <laughs> but so, yeah, your, your friend's right. right. You know, if, if you have, if you're the meth psycho from marijuana, stay away from his crystals. Don't do meth. Don't touch people. All right, we're going to, um, hey, we want to play a game with you, but before we do, um, I, I did watch your TikTok with the wooden spoon that everyone was doing. I was shocked that that works. Oh, wait, why How, is it? <laughs> so, like, if you put a wooden spoon on a boiling pot of oh, water, it won't boil over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I everyone know, in my I comment know. section knew it because I, I was yeah, doing I a TikTok. I thought that was a southern the, thing. Uh, it works. I, I didn't Google why because I didn't. I like the magic of it, but there's some science, yeah. obviously. But yes, it works if. You put a wooden spoon over your pot. I don't know. I was making oatmeal. I stopped making oatmeal because Heidi was like, I thought you're trying to get in shape. Why are you eating oatmeal every morning? I was like, great <laughs> question, honey. So there's no more. I had one bite today of gummies, but no more oatmeal. So that was, was the last. How long have you and Heidi been together now? 16 years. Holy crap. Yeah. But Nuts. and then like I see all due respect to like real like other relationships, you know, like a normal relationship. Most people have like jobs and this, and they like separate. Like Heidi in our 16 years is times a thousand because we've been like for real one flesh, like a team through everything, all these shows we've done, all these houses we've lived in and on shows for 50 days where it's us against the whole house in England. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so <laughs> we've gone through, like, I mean, just like in I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here the other night, I was thinking about the like, 72 hours we spent in that like uh box they put us in to like punish us like m there's very few couples on the in the world that have been like tortured together like you know it's <laughs> not like a normal so like we're we got Brings some you closer i guess yeah oh my god yeah. or or a dozen <laughs> <so>. yeah <laughs> or ruins either way yeah all right should we play a game i love games this is um this spencer this is a combination of your crystals and we're going to compare it to – we're going to use it with some reality TV scenarios. So we're going to give you a bunch of scenarios and know, we'll just have fun. <laughs> There's no right or wrong. You know that. <laughs> All right. Number one, Gabby and Rachel get dumped. at. The, so Gabby and Rachel are the two girls that are now the <laughs> – I should have explained this – are the bachelorettes the, oh, of like the next they, season. Because they There's didn't two. pick that guy? No, yeah, the guy didn't pick either of them. Yeah. He had sex with both of them and then dissed them both. Yes. Yeah, and, and that's room. why this show just gets better and better. Yeah. yeah. So, so, now, so now, they're both, the lead. So, now there's now they're both lead. Yeah. They're the leads. Magical. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Gabby and Rachel get dumped at the same time by Clayton. Gabby Wait, gets sorry, angry. Who's the girl in on the toilet choking? Susie. Him? <laughs> Susie. Different girl. Su from that Susie. Same Susie's season? from that same so season. So the same season. So there yeah. were three girls. Yeah. Susie there's says, three. "Don't sleep with anybody. <laughs> Don't fall in love with anybody." Or I'm gonna leave. He sleeps with the other two, and then she leaves. Then he breaks up with the other two and says, "I gotta go back for Susie because I'm obsessed with it." Uh, da, da, da. I just so need Susie to, I gets just back need to bang these two first. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. What yeah. are they? Okay. What crystals do these two need? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What crystals do they need? Uh, well, off the jump, they're gonna need some black tourmaline for protection <laughs> energy because uh -huh. what they just dealt with on that finale, that you know. That means they're going to probably that type of guy is going to come produced <laughs> to the, you know, I mean, I imagine that version of a guy is coming back. So they got to be extra on guard so that we don't have to, you know, 2.0 version of that. Mm -hmm. They're going to need a uh, Kunzite um, for self-love energy because after what just went through, you know, they're probably feeling a little insecure about themselves. Like they got all the way there. What did they do wrong? They thought this was the guy, but it's not about them. It was him. So we need to build up that self love energy. Love that. And then I would say um, rose quartz for love. We're in yep. a show is about love. We should have some rose yeah. quartz. Um, and then that's a solid, you know, <laughs> kit. <laughs> and then this, uh, some quartz, just a little amplified yes. energy. We want to, we want to bring, want to just, we don't want it to go up from that downward energy that they just finaled out. Now we need that's that, great advice. We need that quartz. Got it. Uplift. I love it. <laughs> All right, that works. Okay, great number advice. two. Oh, Adrena, 
Number two, Audrina is dating a homeboy who wears combat boots to the beach. So here's a funny thing real quick about that. I, you know, grew up in L.A. thinking I was Eminem, listening to Tupac, da 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 I was the one who would call people homeboy and this. All of a sudden, LC's stealing my, you know, which is fine, you know, because I probably look stupid saying homeboy to begin with. But here's LC taking my actual lingo, even though I she hates me, she's stealing the way I talk using it on the show and then the people are like oh lc is so funny she said homeboy is wearing comp it's like you literally are an identity <laughs> thief girl so you're not um, friends with lc or Audrina. i was never friends with them i mean <laughs> i was business i was uh work i was uh I was oh work. you're climbing there climbing the ladder yeah. i was a work friend i wanted i wanted us to be jersey shore that's i uh, i looked at mm. jersey shore as people who do it right I, a team there's mm -hmm. professional athletes that hate each other, but they win as a team and they get the bigger checks. And yeah, maybe off the bench, everyone's fighting, but when it comes to game time, they won. So that was always my energy. It was not like, oh, let me break you down and break, let's get these ratings bonuses. If we ever got to the five million, we got a million cash bonus. Guess what? Oh. We never got it because these all these self saboteurs. On five our million caps. what? Five million what? Yes, viewers? And that was Views? easy when Jersey Shore comes in. Boom, seven, eight, nine, because to win like a team. Oh, I, I'm not giving her any crystals, period. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, she can have the fake Chinese plastic ones. Like, you know, let's give her Noted. some. Noted. You know, okay, you know, Heidi's nice and she likes people. So Heidi would give them, you know, I can't even play pretend. Like, okay. All right, we'll do this. This is the last one. It's a bachelor one. It's the first night of the bachelorette and you are in the limo. You've got to make a good first impression. You know what? Let's rewind. What? I would give them, <laughs> uh, who are giving Elsie and Audrina something. No, just. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah give, give them both give something. Them, I would yeah. give them both Moldavite because I feel like they need to tap into like the multiverse and really look back at who they are. So it would be like, sit on this Moldavite for uh, 24 hours and see <laughs> Let's really figure out who you are. And maybe you have some apologies for people kind of thing. So I would give them both Moldavite. Mm, okay, but nice. like you said, not everybody nice. want to be woke. Mm. Yeah. And that's why I would, I would tape it to them. Like, you, like, <laughs> yeah, I would stick it in their, in their shoes. Like, no, they need to know. Like, that's the worst when people just, like, I have always been a self-aware person, even at my worst. Like, I understand, like, what is creating this version of yeah. me, you know, like uh -huh. the atmosphere, the environment, people who are just like, can go into that tunnel vision of just being like, not a good person. It, it fascinates me one day. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Last one. Um, if so, first night of the bachelorette, you're in the limo, you got to make a good first impression. What crystal are you giving her? So it's so funny. I've always said to Heidi watching this, like, cause it's become such a shtick. Like I would do a crystal crown, you know, cause they make these people, these artists make, and it's like, you're already the queen or you're already the prince. Boom. You like come with the crystal crown with the pink and the purples. I mean, it would look insane. And she puts it on. She's not taking that off for the whole season. So definitely like mm -hmm. a crystal crown because that oh, hasn't nice. been done, but okay. they're good for these people that come up with the ideas they come up with. Cause it, that's a hard, it's, that's one of the hardest parts about, the show is like, cause now yeah. it's become so sticky, like where you have to like, you know, I don't know. It, that's a, it's a good one. Great question. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, Spencer, thank you. Uh, thank wait, you wait, so wait. much I for coming out. I my whole day for this podcast actually. So. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I, I do want to know. I do want to know. Like, like, know, Spencer, do you know what your numerology life path number is? Cause I feel like we're the same. <laughs> um, I mean, I've had, we've, Shout out Cosmopolitan. We did like the full like reading. I think it's on the internet with Cosmo. Like when she came over and did everything. And again, I have a I have a great memory and a bad memory. So I, I bet you're know. a seven. You Guys, know. I bet he's a seven. What's I your birthday? It's August fourteenth. Yeah. Ooh, I'm August eleventh. We're okay. Wait, August fourteenth. What year? We're oh, yeah. gonna calculate it really quick. Uh, nineteen eighty three. Okay, hold on. Eight plus one plus four plus one plus nine plus eight plus. You are a three, four, which is a seven. You are a seven. Oh, oh called it. Called oh. it. 
So yeah, it. when we did wow. that, Numerat, Heidi and I were like, it's like the craziest, rarest where I don't even want to misquote it, but it was like, we're in so many lives, the same, it's trippy. It was, she's like all shook. Even she could be a good actor, but she got me. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. It sounded legit. Uh, uh, there's I, a deep dive that you should read. I think you'd like it. You know, I mean, I it, for a minute, Heidi's sister, Holly, turned into a, a numerologist and <laughs> she sent me like too many pages of like the deep dive and I don't, I should have kept it. But. <laughs> Seven, <laughs> very intuitive. Throw it out. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you guys so much for including me on all this clout energy and uh, <laughs> I feel a little bit more famous. Thanks for being here. That was so fun. Let, let our listener let our listeners know where they could uh, follow you uh, on social just media. Just follow PrattDaddy.com. Really, crystal business is is my because as much fun as fame is, selling crystals is like way more fun. So the success of that company, as you know, I do love trying to be famous and working on that. But like, you know, people tagging me wearing crystals is so fun also so i'm i'm yeah. saying it now i hope you at least host a date in paradise this year and it can be a crystal date and it'll be so good um there are some big things in the universe happening uh which again when you manifest being famous again <laughs> uh it, it could work so uh, you know so there's some things that i'm overwhelmed with that i can't wait to be like ha ha motherfuckers <laughs> 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 So yeah, it's comeback season. So uh, nice. no doubt, haters. Yes, uh, I do love haters. They got me here. <laughs> yeah. Yes, manifest man. king. Yeah. Manifest. That's the one we thing do. about we love the, manifest the bachelor too. fame you guys have, which I appreciate, is you guys have network television level of haters, which is so crazy. You know, like people don't appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a whole another frequency. Yeah. yeah. All right, Spencer. Thank all you. Right, we right. appreciate thank the you time. So like much. I said, I have nothing to do all day. All right. All right. Hey, uh, if they let us keep recording, no, no, I'd no, stay on. Got, with I got to go to the mad. Go can... to my favorite ad now. All right. <laughs> Later, everyone. He should totally be on Paradise. We didn't even have right? to be here. He just led the whole thing. I mean, he has such great energy. Oh. I knew he was a seven. The moment he said that I've always been self-aware and I think they need to go into the multiverse, I said, oh, this mother effort is definitely a seven. Because <laughs> I know Tia and Joe are like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, uh-huh. Damn. <laughs> that was so and interesting. I was, I was trying to keep up. I, I mean, know. I was keeping up for the I was keeping up for the most part. Yeah, he's um, he's a uh, very he's very intense. But yeah, it, it, also when he said the the crystals at the door and all that, yeah, it, it could get real deep. It yeah, get real he said deep. I used to be Harry Potter with my wand. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty it funny. Was, <laughs> it was interesting. It was interesting though how um, you know how they got onto the hills and how how reality TV kind of worked back then, or at least. With MTV, it was just kind of like well, for him, they literally it's like, just who you know and how you yeah. can get in there. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's yo, now... you guys are filming in this location. Well, we're we're gonna buy we're out gonna all buy the it. tables, <laughs> and now you have to film with us. Yeah, is how it worked. Whereas nowadays Smart. they don't do that. Like they'll buy out the whole place and stage the whole entire thing, and everyone there is like you know from the and show. If it. that makes yeah. sense. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's so different how. Um, the evolution, I guess, of where reality TV is and, and now even with COVID. Yeah, well, so still. think about how new it was so new back then where now it's, you know, it's yeah. been around for yeah. I think it's really funny. over 20 years. I think it's really funny that he's like, I'm manifesting being famous again, like, right. which is like the complete opposite of like what that whole healing world is like no one cares about being you know what i mean but he's right. like as a business yeah. it's it's very he's a very very interesting person um i yeah. i think my i actually did my workout my stomach hurts from laughing no so much. joke i was silent <laughs> laughing the whole time <laughs> um yes. i feel like for right. for me if, if i wouldn't have been on the bachelor i wouldn't be able to do what i do now if that dude didn't make it on the hills he would have figured it out somehow Oh yeah, he oh, would have yeah. been on he was getting something out. He was... somehow, Survivor something. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. He probably would have been a showrunner. Like oh, this is my show. You gonna do right? what I say? Right. <laughs> you know. One hundred percent. All right, guys. He would have been like fun. taking it.
Yeah. That was so fun. All right. Well, thank you so much to our listeners and to Spencer for being here. As always, we are always casting for the upcoming seasons of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. Just head to bachelornation.com slash apply to nominate yourself or someone else. And as always, make sure to subscribe and submit all your questions. We want to know what clickbait you're getting into this week, who you want as a guest on the show. Uh, Make sure to follow us at clickbaitbn on Instagram. All our links to our TikTok, our Twitter, everything's there. We love having you guys on. And share your stories with us. We want to know what clickbait you guys are looking at this week. Clickbait is available on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you listen. You can listen ad-free by subscribing to Wondery Plus in Apple Podcasts or the Wondery app. See you guys next week.